Railway. We use it every day. Trains are constantly traveling back and forth across Canada, but it wasn't always like this. Confederation happened on July 1, 1867, and Canada became an independent country. However, it wasn't that big. Sir John A. Macdonald wanted a country that stretched from sea to sea. This could be accomplished by the colony of British Columbia joining Canada. However, British Columbia wasn't going to join the colony of Canada that easy. They wanted a railway that stretched across the country, connecting the Pacific and the Atlantic Oceans. So British Columbia joined Canada with the promise that a railway would be built in under 10 years. The rail company was given $25 million along with 25 million acres of land to build the railway. The construction on the Canadian Pacific Railway began in 1881. Workers were recruited to build the railway, most of them being Chinese. Over 15,000 Chinese workers were brought over. They were paid very little, and by the time the railway was completed, a lot of them didn't have the money to return to China. The workers had to work by hand. It took 30,000 workers four and a half years to build 3,200 kilometers of the track. Four years until the building of the railway, there was an uprising. The Métis weren't happy that a railway was being built through their land, and they fought back. The war was called the Northwest Rebellion. The Northwest Rebellion lasted five months and led to the hanging of Louis Riel. After the Northwestern Rebellion, the railway construction had started again. While building the railway, the workers had many problems that they had to overcome to complete the railway. They had to build trestles over deep ravines, move rocks and boulders, and they had to overcome the Canadian Rockies. The day had come. Seven years of hard work. November 7th, 1885, a man named Donald Smith drove the last spike of the Canadian Pacific Railway in Strathcona, British Columbia. Sir John A. Macdonald had kept his promise to BC, and now they had a railroad that stretched across the country. A true accomplishment. Today, railway is a fairly common way of travel, and a way to transport freight. Canada alone has approximately 80 rail lines, with the Canadian Pacific Railway being one of the largest. Over the last 150 years or so, we have had many technological advances that have allowed us to create intricate designs for our railroads and our trains. Now people can travel in style and luxury across the country, experiencing Canada's natural beauty. Freight can also be loaded onto trains and can be transported across the country within a matter of days. Along with the development of railroad and tracks, people decided that they could make rides for amusement. Thus, the roller coaster. Now roller coasters are probably the most popular amusement park ride ever. We never know what the future holds. With the development of aircraft and vehicles, railway might not be around for much longer. Or, railway could just keep getting more advanced. We never know what the future holds. This has been the story of the Canadian Pacific Railway. <laughs>